Good day once again. My name is Graphics. Now we'll be solving another question on mechanical engineering science, which is talking about resultant force, concurrent coplanar force, and um, the angle between them. Now let's see how it goes. We said the resultant force, the resultant of two co concurrent coplanar force, is 1,500 newton. And the angle between them or between the two forces is 90 degrees. The resultant makes an angle of 36 degrees with one of the force. Find the magnitude of each force. Now, it says the resultant force is a single force that can replace two or more forces. Right? And a concurrent coplanar force is that it's a concurrent force is a force that meets in which the line of action meets at a point. Why a coplanar force are force on the same plane? So what's trying to make us understand here is that what? We'll be having this. Let me assume I have my X. I have a force. See them they are forming 90 degrees. I have this force. And I have this force too. This is my it's going up and it's going here. And it says they are forming ninety degree with each other. Right? So this is my Fx and fy because this is y axis and this is what x axis and the resultant force is the force that can represent these two forces so is the force that is connecting both force together i thought i placed this in on this thing before okay so we're having these two force. The resultant force is the force that connects both of them, that can represent both of them. The resultant force is the force that is always connecting this and this. Right? So this is my resultant force here. Let's assume it is going towards the direction. And we are told that it makes an angle of what? The resultant force makes an angle of 36 degrees to any of them so let me choose the horizontal here and that is 36 degree we say we should look for the magnitude of each force we want to know what fx is i want to know what fy is and we know that our resultant force is giving us 1500 newton so we move forward now what we we'll do here is this Recall whatever you do, always write your parameters. So now, recall we know very well that the angle we are looking for, so we should look for the magnitude of what each force. We want to know the magnitude of Fy, I want to know the magnitude of what of Fx, right? So, for we to get to Fy, whatever we are doing, we need to connect Fy and R because we know R, we don't know Fy. We cannot use F1 and Fx together. So this is the longest side. I will call this the hypotenuse. And I will call this the opposite. So what connects opposite and hypotenuse together? It is what? Sine. So I will say the sine of 36 is equal to what? Opposite, which is Fy, all over what? Hypotenuse, which is what? 1500 so if i cross multiply the fy will be equal to what 1500 sine 36 so what would that give us so that will give us fy equals to 881.66 881.68 yeah 68 newton 
So this is my magnitude of Fy. So the magnitude of Fy is that. Then we'll move forward. So the magnitude of Fx will be, if you look at this very well, we don't know Fx, so we use Fx and the resultant force. So what connects the Fx is the adjacent. If this is the hypotenuse, this is the opposite, this will be what? The adjacent. So what connect the adjacent and the hypotenuse is what? Cas, cos, and that is what we call car from the word so katoa. Right? So I will have my um cos 36 is equal to what? Adjacent over what? Hypotenuse, which is the resultant force. Right? So this will now give me fx equals to 1500 cos 36 so my fx will now give me that will be 1213 1213.52 1213.53 newton so this is my magnitude so the magnitude therefore write therefore the magnitude of the f or of the vertical force which is the fy is equals to what it's it's one point six eight newton and uh, the magnitude So the magnitude of the horizontal force, which is the Fx, is 1213.53 Newton. So this is our value here.